yourself. Welcome back to Oh My Bookishness. Today, I'm going to be giving you a quick tour of my bookshelf because my friend who is probably the only person who watches this channel, hi friend, um, she wrote me a letter because we write letters back and forth and she said that she watched my videos and requested that I do a bookshelf tour. So that's what we're gonna do today. But before we get into that real fast, I'm gonna tell you about the books I've been reading recently. The first one being uh, Stolen Magic by Gail Carson Levine, who's the author of Elle Enchanted and um, Princess, Two Princesses of Bamar and, oh, what's something? I mean, she wrote this and um, she has a book called Fairest, which I really enjoyed. She has a book called Ever, which I did not enjoy. Um, but this one is the sequel to A Tale of Two Castles, which is about a girl named Elodie, that girl right there, and a dragon whose name I believe is Menor. So um, in the first book, Elodie um, goes to the town of two castles, where there are two castles, and um, she's trying to become an apprentice to an acting guild, but doesn't get in because she doesn't realize that uh, you have to pay to get into acting er, into any sort of apprenticeship now. Like the rules have changed, so she doesn't have any money. She can't get in to any sort of trade. And then she comes across the dragon, who hires her as its assistant. And the dragon happens to be a detective. So the first book takes place, there's a mystery and they have to work together to solve it and everything. It's delightful. Um, the second one, they are traveling to Elodie's um, home to like talk with her parents and everything. And it's, it's good. I'm on like chapter 17 right now. It's okay. It's, it's not as good as the first one, but maybe it'll get better. I don't know. But I, I highly recommend the first one. And I'll let you know what I think of this one. And then the other book I'm reading, I don't have a physical copy with me, so I'm just gonna have to move my hands around awkwardly. But anyways, it's called um, Woven in Moonlight by Isabel Ibanez, I believe. Um, and I'm reading it as an ebook right now. It's um, it's very good. I wasn't sure that I was gonna like it because I'm reading it for a book club that I do with my with some of my coworkers, and I work in a library, so it, it's not that surprising that we have a book club. Um, but the book club that we're doing is we're trying to read a book from a different country every month because one of my coworkers is trying to read a book from every single country in the world over the course of a year. Um, so we figured that we'd help her out and do like a little book club. One that we're reading for February, and I got kind of a late start on it, is called Woven in Moonlight, and it's a YA book. Um, I believe it's based on Bolivian culture or fables, possibly. Um, but it's about this girl who is a decoy for, so it's about this made up kingdom and there are two groups of people and one of the groups used to be in charge until the other group rose up and like kicked them out. And so these people, the people who got kicked out are off living in a fortress and trying to keep the other people out and trying to reclaim what they lost. So the main girl is with the people who got kicked out and she's the decoy for the queen of those people because they look similar so they grew up with her the main girl being the decoy for this other girl and she has the ability to um make thread out of moonlight which i think is super neat she it talks a lot about weaving um and i i love to knit and so it's it's kind of right up my alley and you know she's got to save her kingdom but then she, maybe she's starting to realize that the other people who took over aren't so bad maybe i don't know i haven't gotten that far yet we'll see but it's very good i'm on like chapter 14 or something right now and i am very excited to keep reading i also really like reading it as an ebook because um i have the ability it, there's a lot of spanish words in it and while i took three years of spanish I don't necessarily remember it all. Um, so with the ebook, it's really nice because then I can just like tap on the word 
and then a, a little option pops up that's like translate and I'm like yes please and um, there are some Spanish swear words in there so now I know <laughs> um, great <laughs> moving on let's get to a tour of my bookshelf real fast so here's my typical setup when I sit down to film a video I have this like wobbly thing and this is my stand to hold my phone so this is like my my tripod there's my couch um i usually set my current read here so i can grab it real fast there's my water bottle because i get parched inevitably and there's my very comfy chair um we're just going to eat that out of the way real fast here so we can get going okay so here is my bookshelf in whole there's my decorations up top. Let's just soak it in for a moment. Chair. Get out of the way. Okay. There we go. Let's just soak it in for a moment. All right. Let's get started with the decorations on top. So up here we have some plush dragons that I have. Let's see if I can remember all their names. <laughs> this one is Aragon because I thought that's, I thought I didn't, I have never read the Aragon books and I, I thought that the dragon was named Aragon, and so I named this one Aragon. This is Shardis. Um, this is Celise, and this is Cinder, I believe. She's like a beanie baby kind of thing. And over here, I've got some fairies. And this painting, my sister painted and gave to me for Christmas. Um, and then I've got some fairies. I used to collect like lots of little fairy figurines, and I figured, you know what, they look kind of nice there. So that's where they are. And then over here, I need to snip the plastic tags off of them. But my friend, my other friend, painted those for my birthday. Um, I think they're very neat. I love the dragon eggs. If you can tell beforehand, I'm a big fan of dragons. Um, and then this, I can't see it very good. It's a wand that I made when I went to a Harry Potter themed murder mystery party. Um, with my other other friend. <laughs> so yeah, so that's the top. Okay, moving back down, we're gonna move over here. I'm sorry for my shaky hands, by the way. Uh, I have shaky hands. So on this white shelf, I have mostly middle grade and children's books. You can see where Stolen Magic is supposed to go. Um, I have a lot of like books that I read when I was a kid and I just really enjoy them, so they all get fun spots, you know, um, Artemis Fowl, <laughs> Owen Colfer keeps writing Fowl Twins books, this is gonna take up the whole shelf eventually, it's a problem, <laughs> but anyways, um, and then my first Funko Pop that I'm gonna show you is Black Widow Natasha Romanoff from, well, this one's supposed to be from the Black Widow movie, which has yet to be released, come on Marvel, please, I really wanna see it, okay. Moving down, um, I've got my Jessica Day George books. Oh my gosh, my hands are so shaky. Um, and then here we have my second Funko Pop, which is Miss Marvel. I think this is supposed to be her look from a video game or something, but I just thought it looked really cool and it was on sale and I love Miss Marvel, so here we are. Um, and some other books. And this was back before I cared if it was hardcover or paperback, which is why we've got these series that are like all mishmash. And I really don't care at all. I, I care a little bit. Um, <laughs> but I still don't care that much. It's like, I just want the book, you know? Whatever. Um, and then moving down, we've got like Harry Potter, some more middle grade. We have third Funko Pop, which is Nebula. Uh, she's wearing her um, Endgame outfit time travel suit thing, um, looking stunning. And then moving down one more, we've got some more middle grade books. We have eh, two books that I wrote and a third book that I wrote. We're not gonna talk about it. Um, and then I have a little bit of nonfiction over here, Fairy Gardening 101, Dogs the Ultimate Care Guide, Venice, Castles of the World. Move on to the middle shelf, and the shelf itself, my brothers actually rescued it from the trash at work because our pastor was getting rid of it, and my brothers worked as janitors at our church. Anyways, and I also found, oops, sorry, these dragon um, bookends at a thrift store. 
and they were only seven dollars and I'm like well those are coming home with me but anyways and here are my Cordelia Kuhn K books and some other odds and ends um, as you can tell my paperback ink art series is falling apart so my brother graciously sold me this one for a quarter <laughs> and then I found this one uh, at a thrift store so now I just need to find ink spell and hardcover so we'll see online it's like $40 to get one used so I, I don't know I'll have to keep checking Goodwill Dragon Rider which I have not read um, shocking I know I started to read it you can tell from the crack spine but and of course Thief Lord which I love Reckless need to get the second one of those and hope that she eventually writes a third one We'll see. <laughs> Moving down, we have my classic shelf. Um, got some big old, big old classics and some paperback classics and other things and stuff. And I got two poetry books uh, where the sidewalk ends. And this one, you can see. No, you can't see it very well, but it's Complete Poems of Robert Frost. Moving down, we have my antique books and a globe that my sister gave me. I love my antique books, they're very pretty. I've never, the, I've read this one because it was hilarious. It's Polite Society at Home and Abroad. It's like an etiquette manual. Um, and then I flipped through this one, which is a world atlas from the 40s, um, which is kind of crazy because yeah, there, there was some stuff going on in the world in the 40s. I don't know if you, if you heard about that. <laughs> Um, and then these little ones were my mom's and I think they were my grandmother's or maybe my great-grandmother's before that She let me have them and then this is a Mustache protector teacup that I found at a thrift store and I'm like I don't have a mustache nor do I drink tea But I need this <laughs> So that's where that came from and then down here we have my um, TBR bookshelf to be read. Uh, these are the only books on my shelf that are arranged uh, alphabetically by author. Um, these are all the books that I need to read at some point. Have you read any of these? And if so, should I move them up on the list? Um, yeah. <laughs> so those are my to be read. I'm not sure what I'm going to read next. We'll see. Very quickly, because I think my phone's running out of recording space. Uh, this is the third shelf. I've got my Marissa Meyer books. I have two copies of Cinder because one is an ARC. Scarlet is missing because my sister is reading it. Lee Bardugo as well as books related to Norse mythology. And there's of course Wonder Woman. Um, we've got some other odds and ends just thrown on there. Neil Gaiman and another Neil Gaiman. And then like I said Norse mythology related items. Um, down here we've got some more teen books. This shelf's kind of my, this whole like white shelf is my like, teen books, mostly. Um, and then we have Wanda. Welcome to Westview. Uh, so there's some more teen books. And here's kind of my graphic novel shelf, as well as some other things and some more middle grade books. And She-Hulk! So awesome. I'm so excited they're gonna make a show about her too on Disney Plus. That's pretty exciting. Um, and then here are my graphic novels, also very exciting. Uh, and then finally, we've got some more teen books, some more teen books, and then some big like fiction books, like this fairy tale book, some Calvin and Hobbes, and this Marvel encyclopedia that was in the trash. Um, it's not that great. I, I kind of understand why it was in the trash, but it'll live here anyways. So yeah, those are. Let me give you another view. Those are my shelves. Yay. All right, well, that was the tour of my bookshelf and my Funko Pop figurines, uh, as well as some other things. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about any of my strange collection of books, let me know. I have other books scattered around the house, but we'll get into that another day, perhaps. Uh, for now, I'm about to run out of space on my phone, so bye! <laughs>